Hi there, my name is Vic Veer. I'm an ENT consultant that works for the NHS in central London. What I want to tell you about is something known as otosclerosis. This is an ear problem. A lot of you know that there are three little bones in your ear, malleus, incus and stapes. Otosclerosis normally affects that last bone, the stapes bone, otherwise known as the stirrup, because it looks like a stirrup, you know, those horse riding stirrups. And it's used as almost like a plunger. And when that thing moves, it pushes down on a thin membrane that pushes water inside the cochlea, that sort of seashell thing that's in your ear, and that sets off all the nerves that go to your brain. Otosclerosis is a formation of new bone around the edge of this, and so it can't move, it gets stuck in this position and can't be pushed down, and therefore you can't hear anymore. So what we need to do is sort of bypass that bone and try and get the hearing back again. The first thing you need to do is remove that arch of the stapes bone. And I tend to use a laser to do this because I don't really want to move it too much as it can cause hearing loss. So now that we've removed that sort of the, the top part of the stirrup, the what we call the superstructure of the stapes, we now have to make a hole in the middle of that, that flat bit, what we call the foot plate. We can't make that hole too deep where it'll go into the cochlea and all the fluid from the cochlea will come out and you'll lose your hearing altogether. Now we need to get a man-made piston that we put into that hole and we hook it around the process of the uh, incus and you hook it around there so when that incus moves, it recreates that plunging motion, pushes down on that membrane underneath the foot plate of the stapes and therefore moves the cochlea underneath to regain your hearing back again. Now obviously I've drawn this very big, we're talking about very small bones here and it is quite fiddly but when it works, it works beautifully. People can hear straight away and they feel very happy that they can hear again. But you have to remember every operation has its risks and complications. Particularly with this operation, if you accidentally go through that membrane, you may lose your hearing altogether. We roughly say that there's a 1% or a 1 in 100 chance that you'd lose all your hearing and you wouldn't be able to regain it again. Now there are ways to avoid that from happening, but it's a risk. It might be better just to stick with a hearing aid and you don't need to have an operation, don't risk losing your hearing altogether. But that's a conversation you should have with your surgeon and it, and it depends on where you are in your life and you know what you want from your ears and if you're happy with hearing aids or if you're not happy with hearing aids. So it's an important decision. You should be aware of all the risks because there are lots of risks with this operation. The nerve to your face is near there. The, the nerve to your tongue is near there as well. So you've got to be very careful. But if you can fix this area and bring back the hearing, some people are very happy, but it does come with a risk. So just be careful what you do. I will with time show you, tell you more about otosclerosis uh, when I've got more time to talk about it. But I hope that's been informative for you. I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, and do take care. Bye-bye.